Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of my Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask walkthrough. And as you can tell, we still have not turned into Link yet, as this dog beats the crap out of me. Jesus Christ, dog. So let's go ahead and enter back into here and talk to the mask salesman. Creeper. This is probably my favorite Zelda song, not only from George's Mask, but also any Zelda game, probably. Sorry about that outburst, I changed the channel out of nowhere. I'm retarded. I'm gonna have a flashback of the Simpsons. Homer struck the crap out of Bart.
I would be terrified if someone had talked like that to me. Like those weird movements he was doing. I will be running away. I believe. Alright, so now we're finally linked. Or whatever character you named your character. And the swamp will be our first target. Okay, so north is swamp. Wait, no, south is wrong. Okay, never mind. Beat a dog. Can't take me now, can ya? Don't think so. Alright, so first off, let me go and do a few things. And I was going to talk about it before, but I forgot how how long that cutscene was. I'll be doing a few small stuff first um, to get prepared for the, the first dungeon. Um, probably be a very short episode. I'm going to try and space out stuff and I do recommend coming here first and just going ahead and getting the first or well, the second mask I should say as I as my wish packs. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I have to save the little... Okay. What are they doing to me? There we go. But if anybody has played Ocarina of Time, they should probably know that um, there's masks in that game, but they don't really serve much of a purpose. I think only one mask actually serves a certain purpose. Like, that actually gives you a special like upgrade I guess you could say and that's the um I don't remember what it was called but there's little things that were like little stone things that you could hit and they like made weird sounds you could actually talk to them I think or like listen to what they have to say or something they give you like special tips or something I don't oh crap all right right here is this over here I think it is all right so right here we can get our first well, we, not our first chest, but we can get a, a special chest that will give us about 50 rupees, I think it is. There we go. And to do this, um, I don't know... Wait, am I doing it wrong? Am I even in the right place? Probably not in the right place. Wait, wait do I have to like, go to the side right here? But anyways, to get... Over here from there, you're gonna wanna roll as soon as you hit the edge. And then you like jump quickly or something like that, and it'll it'll be a nice little jump. Just like that. And you'll be getting over here. Alright, do you want to roll again? Alright, what do I just do? And as you can tell, as soon as you roll and it hit that edge, you'll it will fly like kind of like how in Super Mario 64, how if you crouch and like as you're running, you can like crouch and jump and it'll cool. Oh, it's a hundred, sweet. It's a lot better than I thought. All right, so that changes a little bit of something I was going to do. Let's go ahead and go back to the bank and get a bigger wallet. And I do recommend doing this probably. Well, obviously before the first temple, that way you can carry a lot more money. And all that stuff. Hey, bank guy. Is this a guy or a girl? I can't tell. There's absolutely no indication. I'm depositing. What am I doing? I shall read your soul.
I don't know if this is considered 200 or not. Maybe we'll have to get uh, two more rupees. I'm not really sure what this is going to count as. I guess we'll see. Okay, yep. 198. Alright. Come back and deposit two more. Alright, and let's do that real quick. North um, Clock Town obviously has the little grass fields. Little grass part where you can get rupees. Obviously, I've shown that in my first part. So let's go ahead and do that now. Then I think after we get our bigger wallet, we'll go ahead and probably buy a few more things. So we'll obviously need money to do that. Logic has blew my mind about that fact. But anyways, after this, we'll probably buy a bomb bag. And I don't remember how much they are, but I do know we don't need to buy any bombs with it. We can just get some later on. And I don't remember where the, uh, the shop is. Yes, I have. Now we can carry up to 200. Right, I'm going to take about 100 or so of what I had. I oh, the pot. <laughs> Wrong thing. Yes, I know. I'm poorer now. Actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, let me take 100. Ain't another truth. Alright, so like I showed in the first video, and obviously now, um, this is a great way to keep all the money that you have, and I don't, I don't recommend forgetting about it, obviously that would make a lot of sense. Um, let me see where the bomb shop is, though, I think, oh, that's a mask shop or something like that, at least I think in this. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, not yet. Not yet. I'll probably be doing that a little bit later. That's a chance to get a new heart piece. What is this? I should read the titles before I get into them. This is a post office. I don't remember much about this. We'll be doing some with that later on, probably as well. Check. This is the bomb shop. Okay. And it even looks like a bomb. That looks weird. It's a very suggestive word. If you had that mindset. Alright, so what's really cool about this right here is you can keep the bomb bag, obviously, um, even if you come back in time, but you will run out of bombs or you want to get more bombs if it's like the third day and you have to go back. So it's not like you have to keep getting the bomb bag or anything like that, you just have to keep getting bombs every three days and I don't recommend buying any bombs unless you want to anyways but we probably won't be using any right now and what it, what's really weird about the bomb shoes when I was playing Ocarina at the time I don't really I didn't really feel like I had to use bomb shoes a lot and I don't know if they have a better purpose in this game or not I don't remember but I will not be getting any for a while if I do get any at all 50 that was close Get that bomb in. Now we can carry and use bombs. Oh, I can have 20 bombs already. Sweet. Alright, let me go ahead and leave. It looks like a vampire. With a tattoo on his head. It's a 
go on right here. See what he does. Powder cake. What's that? Uh. If you want know, to play the Ocarina, the first one, Ocarina of Time, you'll probably know why and how we can pick it up. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the to the Bomber Club, the Bomber Gang. Real quick, because my dog starts to snore or something. As well as this right here, this is our means of saving temporarily. For instance, if you want to save on day two or something like that, you can come here and hit this, and basically it will turn it on. And I don't know. I mean, obviously emulations you can just save whenever you want. I don't know how the 3DS works. I don't know if you can just save whenever you want, but obviously in this game, um, you'll have to you will have to hit it and you'll save, but you can only have one save point at a time. So let's say you open it again and you don't save the next time, you'll probably revert back to the first like the last day that you were on. You know, I mean on, like, on your first day or whatever like that. So I do recommend keeping an eye on what you do with this. Especially if you tend to save a lot with that. Looks like I'll probably end up doing that very thing as well. Right, let's see what he does. I don't think I can hit this down, can I? Unless I throw a bomb at it, which doesn't make sense. Now, let me turn back to the Deku shot, maybe? I don't have the... I don't have the, uh, the slingshot yet. Alright, let's get into shoot mode. Wait. <clears throat> Wait, what's going on? Do I not do this yet? Okay, there we go. Ugh! I don't know if this is going to work or not, but let's see if it does. It probably won't work. Okay, it does. Yep. The bummers. Oh, okay. So I have to do this again. But I already know the code. Alright, so there, I, I do believe there's two here. There's one over on the west section. And there's one in the middle. Got him. I have a feeling I'm going to run into everything in my path. Okay, here's the next one. Oh, he juked me. Oh, he... All right, let me just stay right here in the middle. Well, not in the middle of the, the wall. Come here, boy. Crab man. All right, there we go. And obviously, if you know where where they all are, it's not gonna take very long. Maybe two hours in the game. Not two hours in real life. That'd be pretty bad. Alright, the next one. Let me go ahead and. I don't think there's one over there. Okay, let me go ahead and come over here. I think there's one over here. On the west side. <laughs> He's like up here, I think. There he is. Got him. I'm the hide and seek master. You don't even know. 
All right, I believe the one. Oh, no! Oh, I'm trying to play music. I'm playing tag. All right, let me go ahead and go over here. I think. I think the next two I need. Yeah, I might need the uh, the Deku shrub unless I can get up there with Link, which I can actually. No, I can't. Can I grab onto this one? No, I can't. Alright, now it's night. Oh, I just realized that the, uh, the fairy was right there. <clears throat> Crap, how do I get it? Very come here for me. I'm gonna have to use this shrub. Thank you, scrub, I mean. Pretty intense transformation over there. Alright, I wonder if I can hit him right here. So I can hit her or him, whatever. Alright, so now we can get the, the next mask that I usually go for. I thought for sure I seen one of them up, up there somewhere. Like. But another reason, well, another is he up there? That's where I thought he was first. Pretty bad at I keep getting wait there he is right there. Retard. That was easy. Wait, why am I Dakuling? Oh there. Pause time real quick. And just like with the bomb bag, this will carry over to our next day. And I think um, once we use it, we can it, that will save as well, if I remember correctly. And I'll go over that later on when we finally use it. Hopefully I don't. Should be three, two, four, five, one, if it is the same. Three, two, four, yep, three, two, four, five, one. <laughs> the Bummer Secret Society of Justice. We're like the Justice League, only better. Okay, so now we don't have to. Oh, well, now I don't have to write it down anymore. Wait, there it is, right there. Right? Is this, uh... This is probably gonna look pretty bad. Because it looks kind of... Maybe it looks a little pixelated on my, on my TV.
Okay, so that's... Wait, what? There we go. Alright, so now that... While we're up here, let's go ahead and go get the... The next... The next... Ugh! Can't speak. The next mask. Nest. <clears throat> And now we see, like usual, if we go to a fairy fountain, she'll heal us. Jesus. Another power is to scare the crap out of enemies because because obviously you look like a mountain troll. Even the Goron take offense to this. Alright, now I think. Let me see if I can get up there. Well, that's obviously a no. I wonder if I can. I'll probably have to be a special person to get up there. Wait a minute, maybe I can get up there like this. Oh god. Wait, who is that? It looks like an alien from right here. Is that an alien? What is that? Speak to me, alien. He looks like an alien. Oh, okay, I can just get it. <clears throat> Alright, so I think... <clears throat> Gotta line myself up again. Alright. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so there's another Deku Shrub right there. I wonder if I can get over it. What's it go to? Oh, what do I... What do I need that for, anyways? Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Let me go ahead and show the... Show this guy right here. And hopefully <laughs> this works out. I think, yep, I did it. So if you hit it, obviously it'll, it'll awaken up. If that's a word, awaken up. Is that is that whatever? But anyways, um, like I said before, if you do, if you're playing the N64 version or maybe even the 3DS version, if you save right here, it's a temporary thing. So basically, let's say if you save right here and you restart the game, whenever you go to your game, it will have the icon of the statue. And the game screen or whatever and if you enter that game you will have to save right here again to save once again and on and on and he'll talk about it again and 
obviously I forgot again. I need to stop doing that. I don't want to explain everything. And personally, I love this, um, this little save, um, save idea thing, whatever. I'm not really sure what I should call this, but anyways, let's go ahead and save. Is this going to restart my game? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, let me go ahead and show this real quick. Obviously, there's the owl right there. But anyways, this wasn't a, a very big episode. It was just uh, going around town, getting stuff. And most likely, part three will be the same. Probably inching my way closer to first temple which will probably be part four part five when I start it but anyways as I make a lot of noise like and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching